Okay, today we're gonna to take a look at types of sentences. Before we begin, let's make sure we understand what our outcomes are. First, I can identify the three types of sentences. I can identify clauses within a compound and a simple sentence. I can use a fanboy to write a compound sentence, and I can use a comma and semicolon correctly within a compound sentence. Some of that may sound new to you, others you have heard before. So let's go ahead and let's get into these two issues and see where we are headed. So the first thing you need to do is need to identify the three types of sentences. You have a simple, a compound, and a complex sentence. I have examples here, so let me show you what they look like, and then we will transition into how to figure out a simple and a compound sentence. First, a simple sentence looks much like this. The dog ran quickly. You have a simple subject, you have a verb, you have an adverb. Okay? You can also have an adjective instead of an adverb. That's fine. A compound sentence. The dog ran quickly, comma, but it fell down. So you have independent clause, independent clause. The dog ran quickly, semicolon, it fell down. Independent clause, independent clause. And remember, an independent clause is a synonym for a simple sentence. They are the same thing. They can stand alone. The third type of sentence is not one that you need to worry about today, but it will come back. It's called a complex sentence, and it looks much like this. Watching the sunset, I knew it would rain today. Dependent clause, independent clause. Okay. All right, so let's talk about the clauses within a simple and a compound sentence. All right, so a simple and compound sentence only have independent clauses. That's the good thing. It makes it easier for you to learn how they are similar. There are no independent clauses. So if we take a look at these two simple sentences, Bob ate a huge salad. Bob is my subject. Salad is what we're talking about, or what, what, what he did. He ate a huge salad. So this is an independent clause or a simple sentence. The old computer works slowly. Again, adjective, subject, verb, adverb. A simple sentence, independent clause. But now we gotta start looking at these compound sentences. A compound sentence contains two independent clauses, two simple sentences put together, okay? This type of sentence can be written in two ways. You can use a semicolon that separates the clauses, or you can write with a comma and followed by what's called a coordinating conjunction that separates the clauses. So let's take a look at both of the examples. In this statement, Scott enjoyed his soda, semicolon, it looked really green. So I've got an independent clause and an independent clause. They both stand alone. I'm bringing them together with a semicolon. Okay. Same two independent clauses, Scott enjoyed his soda, comma, but it looked really green. That but is kind of tricky because that is what's called a coordinating conjunction. We go back to the rule above. We have a comma and a coordinating conjunction. I've got a comma and what's called a coordinating conjunction, the word but. That's called a fanboy. What is fanboys, he says? Well, it's an acronym. An acronym is a, a, a word put together that has another meaning. So, fanboys. F stands for for, A stands for and, N stands for nor, B stands for but, O stands for or, Y stands for yet, and S stands for so. Those are coordinating conjunctions. These words are what you would use to combine two, compound sen two simple sentences into one compound sentence with a comma in front, okay? So, remember, Whenever a coordinating conjunction is used in a compound sentence, it must have a comma in front of it. If you don't, you're grammatically incorrect. That's where most students struggle with punctuation. They don't know clauses. They don't know parts of the sentence. If you know a coordinating conjunction always gets a comma in front, life gets just a little bit easier. All right, so take a look at the sentence. The red cardinal ate the bird seed and it watched out for its enemies. So the red underlines that comma. The green, that's a fanboy. Fanboys always had commas in front. Okay, you ready for the assessment? Here we go. This is formative assessment number one. What I'd like you to do is in your notebook, title a new page, types of sentences, number one, formative. Do that. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, when you finished, you're gonna see me so I can score you, not the me who's stuck in the screen, the guy who's walking around the room. Okay, here we go. Number one, you're gonna write a simple sentence. 
identify the clause and the type of clause in this sentence. Okay, pause video, do that. Number two, now write another simple sentence about the same topic. If number one is about soccer, number two is also about soccer. Do that, pause. Number three, now you're going to combine these two simple sentences in the two ways we showed you. So you're gonna write a whole nother sentence. You're gonna combine your two simple sentences together in the two ways we showed you. If you need to, use your resources. When you're done, see that guy walk in the room. Boom.